want to get out? I mean, th th there are. I mean, some who are clearly, the, the, if you look at the, the uh, Libyans in the east or in the west, nobody is looking to go out and leave. But there is economical problems which right now facing the Libyan people, especially with liquidity and so on, is very, very short. Yeah, you, you, your yes. banks are running out of cash. Your yes. food prices are spiraling. You basically, because of your oil industry, is, your output is down by two thirds at least. Oh, the oil least. price is you plummeting. The, I, the IMF says you're going to run out of money by 2019. I mean, your economy is totally yes. collapsed. And, and that's why we need a political solution so we can bring the country back to stability and we can bring back the production of oil to before 2013. And, and that to face these problems. So there is no military solution. And that's why those who they try to have a military solution in Libya is not going to happen. That will bring us into a civil war because neither the forces in the West nor the forces need to be able to, to, to win this, this war. Mm. Now, we, 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 talk, the we talked about the West's role in helping you fight IS. Yes. But, but just to finish up on the migration point, yeah. it seems to me odd that the U European Union naval operation, which is trying to control the migration from Libya and the North African coast, Operation Sophia it's called, mm -hmm. isn't allowed into Libyan waters. Well, why won't you let their naval vessels into your waters? I mean, that's, the government has to decide that, but the, the, yeah, the well, immigration problem... Why aren't problem, they allowed right now? No, I, I mean, mean, they're not what, entering What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Are they going to shoot them there? Or are they going to rescue them? They're going to turn gonna bring them, them back, back because they, they don't want them, them in Europe. Where are they going to go? They're going back they're to go Libya. back to your country, to where they came Libya. from. They cause us a lot of problems. So you don't want them? No, clearly. So you're not prepared to cooperate with the European no, Union? No, we are and yet you want the Western support to come and no, no, bash IS? No, no, we are willing to cooperate. But the solution for this immigration problem, it is really protecting the Libyan country as, a, as borders. That's where we need the help from the West to do that. It is, it is the, the, this is a problem that has been there for a long time, really. The number is now much bigger. Mm. But really, why those people are coming? They are why they migrated, because really their country, they are suffering. So there need to be international solution to this, to this problem, to bring some development to those nations, so people will stay in their countries. But, the... but right now, it is a, it is a cry. It is, there are really uh, uh, criminals who they are using. Uh, those people. I see them in trip. I just wonder drive. whether there's an element in your country and maybe senior politicians such as yourself that sees the migration problem as useful leverage. No, you no. can almost threaten, blackmail no. the Western powers no, by I don't saying, see you that. know, unless you help us more, no. all of these people are no, going to leave can, Libya. No, we cannot control it. That's the problem. It's not where, at, at least I don't look at it this way. It is not a threat towards mm. the West. It is a problem. They are causing us a problem first. I mean, because those people, they sit in Libya until they were to get enough money to pay that fee to jump onto those boats, which the chance of surviving is very small. Mm. And so those people, they are staying in Libya. They are causing problems. They are committing crimes. And so we are really, we are, we are facing the first wave of those immigrants and the problems that we have in Libya. Well, problems, problems. We've talked a lot about problems. We've yes. got to end now, but it just strikes me, you talked about Libyans, some of whom want to leave the country. You took a decision after years in the United States to come back to Libya yes. in 2011. Are you yes. reaching the point where you are beginning to think, this isn't working, I've got to get out myself? No, I still has hope. And, and the reason I, they brought me to Libya because I, I was for more than 30 years against Gaddafi. And I see this chance for Libya to be able to become a, a civil state, a democratic state, a prosperous country. And many people who would like me, who they are willing to do whatever it takes to bring this hope back to the Libyan people. And I think there is a chance there. You still have hope? I still do. Well, that's a good way to end. Mustafa Abu Shagur, thank you very much for being on Hard Talk. Thank you for having me. Thank you.